Hello everyone! In this video, you will learn how to integrate Player Zero avatars into your game using our Unity SDK. Today, we will focus on avatar loading and animation. In future videos, we will cover analytics, mobile and PC deep linking, and more. Before we begin, make sure you've contacted the Player Zero team to get your developer account credentials. As a developer, you can either import Player Zero avatars as is, they come with standard skeleton included. Alternatively, if your game already has custom characters, we can adapt Player Zero avatars to match your technical requirements. That includes using your custom skeleton and matching the proportions of your existing characters. In that case, you will need to send us your character model so we can register it in the system and create a blueprint. For this tutorial, we will use an existing Unity demo, the 3D game kit from Unity Asset Store, and integrate the SDK into it, similar to how you'd integrate it into your own game. Let's start with installing the SDK in Unity. Go to the Player Zero GitHub repository, under the releases page to ensure you get the latest version, copy the latest SDK release URL. In Unity, navigate to Window, Package Manager, click on the plus icon, choose Add Package from Git URL, and paste the URL. Once installed, log in through Tools Player Zero using the credentials provided by your Player Zero account manager. You should see your character blueprint listed. If not, contact the Player Zero team to ensure everything is set up correctly. Now let's load an avatar into the scene. First, select the game object of the existing character in the scene. Then attach a simple loader script to it. Inside Unity's start method, create a new character loader and use the following code to load an avatar by its ID. We are using an avatar ID here to quickly test how player zero avatars load in-game. An example ID is available in the documentation. Now hit play and watch the avatar appear in the scene. Earlier, we mentioned blueprints. If you've already sent us a model of an existing character, a blueprint should be available in your account. To load a player zero character using a specific blueprint, just add the blueprint ID to the character request configuration in the script. Now that the character loads as a blueprint, what about animations and existing components? We want the new character to spawn at the same position use the same animations and retain all the scripts and components from the original character without having to do all of that manually. In the hierarchy, under the character, you will find the body game object to which the skinned mesh render component is attached. We are going to replace that body with the one from the player zero avatar. To do that, we will just add one line of code and it will work seamlessly. Back in the script, add new mesh transfer dot transfer passing the loaded avatar game object and the existing character game object. Since the script is attached to the character, you can use this dot game object. Now press play, and everything is working and synced from animations to any other components. To make the transition smoother, I've added a loading screen to my scene. So I will reference it in the script, make it visible when the scene starts, and disable it once the new avatar has loaded. Don't forget to assign the reference in the script, and now everything works perfectly. So far, we've been using a test avatar ID, just for demonstration purposes. But in a real scenario, players create their own avatars, then choose a game from the catalog, and their avatars load automatically. To enable this, simply use the SDK's get hot loaded avatar ID method. In your script, assign the return value of this method as the avatar ID. Now when you make a build of your game and provide the link to us, we will upload it to the platform, and players can jump in with their custom avatars. We've made a build for this demo to show how it works. As a player, I bring my avatar, go to the Games tab, choose a game, and voila, I'm playing with my own avatar. I can switch to other games in the catalog, and my avatar carries over seamlessly. In our next video, we will cover analytics, which track playtime and help calculate your revenue split. And that's it! You now know how to integrate avatars using the Player Zero SDK. Check out the Player Zero documentation or reach out to our team for more support and tips.